Hi, hi. This database is called Delivery and is from a practical exam and I'm going to go through all the tasks now with you. So the first thing was to open the delivery database. That's done. And we have to check the structure of the customer table. Open it up wide. And always when you see the security warning, options, enable, OK. Open it up again. And here's the structure. We got customer ID, title, first name, last name, street, town, postcode, newspaper ID, and registration. Now it tells us a new customer needs to be added to the database. Her details are, and then I get the customer ID. And to enter a new record, the simplest thing is to click this button here, or you can, of course, scroll down and just go to the field, the last field. But I'm going to click here, New, and W. F077. Now it doesn't tell us Mr. or Miss, but as we know that this is a lady, Althea Robert Robertson, we're gonna add here Miss Althea and then Robertson. Now it tells us the address is one Mount View. And it says Sandal, so that looks like that's the town here. Sandal and newspaper is mail. Now we can't see which code it is for the newspaper ID. And then if I look on the exam paper, it says you will need to look up the news, I news ID, which is newspaper ID, in the newspaper table of the database. So we go to newspaper, we go to the let me see, this is the mail, okay, and mail is NE04. We go back to the table, we go back to the correct field. Well, I have the post code WF, WF, 79X, 79X, and don't forget the spaces. As you can see, there's a space here, so we do everything the same. And A. Now, NE4 was ours for mail, 04, tab. The date was the 7th of May, 2009. So we have to do it the same way. May is the 5th, so 05, and 2009. This was the first task. So the next one is to sort the table into ascending order of last name. Okay, so we've got the whole table here. Last name is over here, and we have to sort it in ascending order. You go over the button, and up comes ascending. You click it, and now it's been sorted correctly. Then, of course, you have to print screen the table and show it in a Word document, and then you would paste, paste the print screen image in the Word document. So to do that, I think probably the best way is to show, let me hide this, because then you can show more of the table itself. And always double click on the borders to get exactly the exact size that's needed. You can see that it minimizes it when it has more space or makes it bigger when needed. And we can see all the titles fully. Okay, now to print screen it, we could do it like this and drag now more down and we try to show of course as many records as possible and in this case it would be like this and that's perfect print screen now and paste it into word now the next task is set the orientation of task db1 to landscape okay so then in the word document you would change it to landscape and for those that don't remember how that's done, we are here, page layout, orientation, landscape. Makes sense, then you can see better all the field, name, field names and it's easier to read from it. So if, if I do print screen now and I open the document, control V to paste it, you can see how better it is to view it in landscape. But of course some cropping is needed. We'll do it show only the fields that are needed and we always have to show here the record the amount of records this would be okay and now we'll drag from the corner
corners to make it bigger and there's missing there a piece we can also go to text wrapping tight move it and now we can see everything very clearly okay back to the database uh, we've put the orientation to landscape copy and paste it into the word document make sure that all data is displayed on one sheet of A4 done okay task two uh, Fiona and Jonathan want a list of customers who live in Crofton so we know that if we have to search for something or get information from the tables we're gonna need to do a query so I'm gonna close the table I am gonna save it yes and I am going to what do a query so create here's query design and we need the customer table and I can close it open this fully hide this can also close this and it says uh, find information from the customer table display all fields so I'm gonna start by adding all the fields by double clicking on the name can drag this more down we're missing postcode newspaper ID and registration now all fields are displayed but we needed what customers who live in Crofton so if I run the query now I can see here the town uh, anyone from Crofton yes go to the view again go to the town here's the criteria field and we'll write there Crofton press enter run again and we'll get all the customers that live in Crofton now what does it tell us more paste the results of your search into the document now we're gonna minimize it like this and as usually we want to show exactly the amount of records that were found and now we would press print screen you go into the word document let's say this wasn't there control V and start the cropping and I've already shown you how to do that okay so the next task is Fiona and Jonathan want a list of customers who registered with the shop uh, on or before the 1st of January 2003. The list should show only fields, title, first name, last name, street, town, postcode and registration, be in ascending order of registration and design a query search to produce this list from the customer table. Okay, we've already done this query here, now I'm gonna close it and of course we always save it and you know the title is always QRY for a query and we can name it Crofton very descriptive name I pressed enter then it goes it hides because I've already got here just tables and if I want to see the query that I've done it comes up here now I go back I want to see just the tables because I'm gonna create a query from the customer table so I go to query design now we want the customer table so I double click on it and close and it tells us to show only the fields title so let's just start to add it title first name last name street town postcode and registration postcode and registration be in ascending order of registration so I'm gonna do that straight away here we can see the sort by ascending so I select it that's done and we needed customers that were registered so the registration has to have some type of criteria registered with the shop on or before 1st of January 2003 now we can run the query and see how the data is displayed and you can see th how they type it slash slash between and the year so here if I want to have it on the 1st of January I have to put the equals symbol now they also say that it's before so it has to be less than so I add the less than and now I can write 1st of the 1st and 2003 so 2003 press enter and now we run the query and now we've only got people that registered before 
the 1st of the 1st, 2003. And always verify and see if you're getting the correct results. And as always, minimize it exactly as you need. can minimize this too. You can also drag this to the side because then you have less cropping to do later on. And now you would print screen the results. Uh, it says display your search and design view also. So you would have to print screen this, paste it in the Word document. And if we want it in design view, we have to click here again. And what they want to see is obviously this table, because you were using that to get the information. Have it displaying everything in here. And this is also what they need to see. So you can minimize this like this. And now would be a perfect time to print screen. It also says make sure that the display shows all the required information including the search criteria and the sorting and that's all seen here. Okay, that's that for that task. And next comes uh, Fiona and Jonathan want a list of customers who live in Horbury and receive either the Informer or the da Daily Eye newspaper. Okay, we've done this query here, so we're just going to save it. I close it. Yes, I'll save it. QRY. And you can say before 1st of January. 1st of Jan 2003 more descriptive. Okay. Now we open this up again. We want another query. So create. And uh, what do they ask us for? List of customers who receive these newspapers. Then it says create a query search to find this information from the two tables. Okay. Also it says in the delivery database the customer newspaper tables are linked. So I want to see how they're linked. To do that, I have to go to the database tools. I click on relationships and we have to add the tables or show them. So customer table and newspaper table. Close. Now we've got both tables and they've been linked and that's correct. And we've got a one to many relationship. Why? Because one newspaper can be sold to many customers or many customers can buy newspapers or one newspaper. Okay, what more? We've already seen how it's linked and now we want to create the query. So I'm going to close this. Yes, I'll save the layout. Now create. Query design. And as before, we're going to add the two tables. And somehow I feel like this is a better way to view it from one to many open this up and a list of customers who live in Horbury so and it tells us also to display all the fields so I'm gonna start from here customer table add everything now it's got the newspaper IT here twice so we only need it once we've got it here once so I can skip it in this table add newspaper add price I'm gonna open this up and now customers that live in Horbury. So town. Horbury. Now that's already done. And those that receive either the newspaper. We can also, sometimes it's better to run the query to see the data. Okay, we've got here already everyone that lives in Horbury. Perfect. And here we need to say only those that receive Daily Eye or the Informer. Okay, so we go to the newspaper field. We go to the newspaper field here in criteria and there we're going to write informer. And as you can see here it says or, or the daily eye. And press enter. Okay, what happens if we run the query now? We can see that we've only got informer or daily eye, but we've got another town here. So this is not correct. Now we have to find out why. Here we forgot to put Horbury because it has to be Horbury that buys Informer or in Horbury and you buy the Daily Eye. So now if we run it, 
we've got only people that are from Horbury and that either are receiving informer or daily I. So this would be the correct results. Now it says copy and paste the results of your query into the Word document. Okay, so the same as usual, we minimize this, show the total amount of records, we can hide this, and don't forget to check if all the headers are displayed and no letters are missing. Brilliant. Print screen now and paste it in Word. Okay, I'm also going to save this. Always save everything you do so if something comes up that you can open it again. Now, uh, I'm going to close it. Yes, I'm going to save it. This is a QRY for Horbury uh, Informer Daily I. Okay. Now, what more? The last task asks us uh, Fiona and Jonathan want a database report based on the result of the query carried out in the last or previous task. So reports are created where? We go to create. Here we got to create a form. Here we got buttons to create the report and here was the query. Now we could go straight away to the report design but sometimes it's easier to use the wizard. So I'm going to do that. Now, I know that I have already created a query and this report is supposed to be based on it. So here it is, QRY, Horbury Informer, Daily I. I select it. What does it tell me? Sort the results in ascending order of last name within ascending order of newspaper. Then it tells me, show only the fields newspaper, first name, last name, and postcode. So I do that straight away. For, no, newspaper, which is probably here. Newspaper, first name, last name, and postcode. These are the only fields that are supposed to be in the report. I press next. Okay, I want to view my data like this. Next. Do you want to add any grouping? No, it doesn't ask me for any grouping, so I carry on. Next. Now, in the beginning it said, sort the results in ascending order of last name within ascending order of newspaper. So I start with newspaper ascending, and as last name is supposed to be sorted within this sorting, I select here last name, and now we've got this displayed correctly. Last name sorted within newspaper next. Okay, I can select a different layout if I want to, but the default one is a good one. Here we can also select different types of of uh, styles. So this is this is fine. Next. Now what title? Now for a report we always selected RPT. Now what did they tell us? They want a suitable title for the report. Suitable title would be something to do with customers from Horbury. So customers from Horbury that receive the informer daily I. Informer daily sorry daily I. Okay, that's a good title. Finish. Now it's a good name for the report, but it's not a good title. Of course we can't have this as a title. So now I'm going to go to the design view, I close the print preview, I am going to change this to customers and I'm going to add a space from Horbury that receive informer or the daily I. Okay, the title is a little bit too big, so I'm going to minimize it. Let's put it to 16, press enter. Now, to be able to drag this up, I have to first drag this up and then I can drag the page header a little bit more. Now, here I have newspaper. Now, definitely change these titles all to bold. I just press Ctrl B because it's quicker. And then let's put it in 12, size 12. Now, I can't see the newspaper fully, so I'm just going to double click on that border and it opens it up better. Okay, 
shouldn't first name come in front of last name I think so so I'm gonna click here and just drag it in front see how it changes easily first name doesn't need to be such a big field so I minimize it a little bit same goes for the last name and postcode could also be a little bit smaller now what does it tell me to do more I had to customize the column headings to make them easier to understand okay and never forget this this should be first space name this should be last name so last space name and here it should be postcode postcode newspaper is fine okay we've done that we've got a suitable title we're, we're only showing newspaper first name last name and postcode in that order and we've already sorted when we created it in the wizard okay everything is done but then in the end it tells us enter task db4 and your name candidate number and center number in the footer of the document now here's the footer so we have to click to drag it down so we have more space and then we have to add a label when we've clicked in here we can start typing it asks us to enter the task so task db4 db4 and our name I'll put my name here and then it asks us for candidate number so we can put comma candidate, candidate number and center number center number is 96685 and candidate number just invent 11204 okay this is also too small I think so I'm gonna click outside click on it again put this to 12 and press enter and then you can see you have to drag and open the borders so you can see everything clearly now as it is a footer I think we should drag it a little bit further down click and drag this now it's a footer now it doesn't tell us to include the date and equals now open and closed brackets means that the date will automatically come here and it takes the date from the clock or from the computer date and it adds here the page number now we could we could include this or we could just get rid of it as we're not asked to have this so I'll click and drag this so it doesn't show it anymore now we just have our footer and everything like it should be everything they asked for now let's see how it comes out because you have to print straight away from the report layout in the database you're not gonna put it into Word and then print it so we're gonna see how it comes out we go here to report view and this is more or less how it's going to get printed everything looks good we could have put this a little bit further down and we can also see it better when we go to print print preview okay this is how it will be printed and as I said you can always drag this down okay that was the last task in this practical exam for the database thank you bye bye